All right. So we checked the email. Um, I got a couple to get to. Um, I did just put one up about the shifter bushings. Um, but uh, Christian wrote to me. He's like, hey, I have an 04 SRT4. I just went from a stock to a big front mount intercooler. And he has a gritty uh, blow-off valve. He says he has little to no boost. And he can hear flutter, and that is it. He said, can you can I send him a picture or a video of the correct way that this should be set up? He said he tried checking some diagrams. Okay, now, um, if you're adding an, F, an after, aftermarket blow-off valve, regardless of the type or the brand, if it's not mounted on the turbo, you have to T-vacuum off from the intake right after the throttle body to activate that valve and you do what is called the blue line delete which deletes the the blue line and the pink line um that go to that solenoid you don't need it you kind of just take them off you don't need it because they're what operated the uh the recirculation uh diaphragm or if you had one of those aftermarket little blue plates actually mounted on the turbo so i'm going to show you a couple different things um so hopefully this gives you an idea and some of the things you can check i'm thinking that maybe you hooked the blow off valve up that way um and i'm assuming that you have all of your couplers checked at all of your fittings that you have no vacuum leaks or boost leaks okay so i'll show you what this stuff's supposed to look like here's a couple of things so don't mind the mess this is the only unit that i have that's out and it was the one that i was going to put on this orange car right here so big front mount intercooler aftermarket piping basically everything gets hooked in um and this is where the red line would go okay um and this is the temperature sensor so you would come off of this right here and run to vacuum on your intake or right above the throttle body you can tee in right there so i'm going to take you out to my blue car right now we're going to walk outside and we'll see how that is run out there so you can kind of see what that is i don't have any stock setups right now to show you how the stock lines were run back to the turbo but uh, you can kind of get an idea in the way here i was just looking at this now i basically have an agp big front mount intercooler um, I have both, both sides have hard pipes. Um, I have the upgraded one over here and then I have, uh, the one over here with an HKS valve. Like I said, it does not matter what type of blow off valve. This will all be the same. All right. So, um, let's see if we can see down in here. My finger is down here in the back. I'm trying to push on this hose. Okay. That connects to my blow off valve. All right. So this is running here. And this is set up like this. It's actually teed into this vacuum right here coming off of the intake. Now what happens is when your throttle body opens up, your boost comes in, you're building boost, your gauge is reading boost, you're getting boost in your motor. Boost comes out of here, goes through this T, goes through this T, comes back around and pushes that valve shut, okay? So as soon as you let off and that throttle body closes that vacuum on this intake causes that to open along with the extra boost pressure that is inside your pipe your inner core on the other side of the throttle body help push that open all right so then you get your or your whatever whatever sound the blow off valve makes and that's actually what that does now this still has the blue line on now um, when I got this car like seven or eight years ago, basically I put an engine in it. Some of the way this stuff is set up is still the same way that I was when I received it. This actually has the red line not hooked up, which you never want to. You always want your tip to read atmosphere, if not directly off of the pipe. Now, the blue line here runs back and picks up vacuum, okay? And then the pink line that was here that was supposed to run back off of the turbo down there on the surge valve is deleted. Um, I'm thinking as possible that you actually have that run down to that blow off valve thinking that that was the correct way. Going off of your blue line here, 
which tees in, okay, and goes to everything where you need it to go. Right there's your blow off valve, all right. And then what happens is it doesn't, you don't get, you don't get the boost pressure from the vacuum feed to push that shut. So then you might not be getting, it might not make boost. Um, so that would be what I would initially check. I didn't have any pictures of what you have set up. So take a look at that stuff. Hopefully this was a helpful video. If anybody has anything to add, feel free, man. The comments are there. Um, anything that you guys have questions about, I'll do what, my best to answer them. Um, I base all this stuff on my experience. So I'm not perfect in everything and I don't claim to know everything, but that's what I would try. Um, there could be some other issues that you're having. Possibly, you know, you bump something. I don't know. Maybe you already have it fixed by the time you see this video. But like I said, maybe it'll help somebody else. So on to the next question. And uh, hopefully we can get some of them videos out um, along with some other things. Take it easy, guys.